Today we're taking a look at Viking Revolution's mustache wax. A while back I saw in my comments that it was suggested I take a look at Viking Revolution. And so I picked up this two pack. Now in the box you also get a little guitar pick for removing wax out of the tin as well as a Viking Revolution sticker. Now just be warned that the sticker is folded in half because well they had to make it fit into the box somehow. Now as far as the mustache wax goes, well you get two half ounce containers. Both of them are your standard screw off lid just in a much smaller size. I do believe that I saw that they have four different scents. However, I got this one in sandalwood and citrus. And well, if you're a longtime viewer of the channel, you'll know how much I like my citrus scents. So how could I not get this particular two pack? I found that the sandalwood scent is definitely sandalwood. However, it does have a little bit more of a perfumey type of scent to it. So it's a little bit sweeter than some of the other sandalwoods out there that I've scented in the past. The other scent of course is the citrus and I find that it is a lighter scent. It's definitely not as strong as some of the other citrus mustache waxes and beard balms that I've reviewed in the past. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I'll get to that here in a little bit. You apply the mustache wax like you do any other. Just use your thumb and apply it from the inside out. The ingredients in this mustache wax are all natural, consisting of beeswax, abs elbow leaf wax, shea butter, cocoa butter, jojoba oil, avocado, oregon, and coconut oils as well as vitamin E and the oil to give it its respective scent. As you just saw, I didn't need a blow dryer or any external heat. In fact, over the last 30 days of using it, I barely even held the wax in my pocket to warm it up beforehand. So it definitely applies easily as well as fairly even throughout the mustache. You just really have to make sure that you rub it in and don't have any little clumps or it does tend to show a little bit because it is a little bit on the whiter side. Now from my experience using Viking Revolution's mustache wax over the last 30 days. Well to start off with, I use them both equally and the scents is the only difference. There is no whole difference or any other difference as far as the wax tins go. Like I said earlier, the citrus is a little bit on the lighter side of scented, and so is the sandalwood. And honestly, that's not necessarily a bad thing, especially if you're like me and don't really care if there's a special scent or not to a mustache wax. As far as application goes, it is very easy to apply. I have no problem applying it, but it definitely does stick to the more natural styles of a mustache. As you see here, I don't have really defined tips. I just kind of have it all kind of, you know, sticking together, which is basically what this wax does. If you notice that before I applied it, I already had handlebars going, and that's because of a brush and a blow dryer combo that I've been testing out and honestly it worked really well with these waxes because I'm not able to get anything really defined with this wax. Now on Vatican Revolution's website that does say that this is supposed to be a stronghold wax. Well unfortunately as you can see, I'm not getting a really strong hold out of this. I am getting much more of a relaxed, more natural hold, which means you're not gonna be getting a strong hold out of this wax. I would have to say that this wax is much more closer to the medium to light medium even hold for a mustache wax. Now, if you're looking for a natural hold like this, it's not a bad thing, but I do think that their advertising on their site or their wording on their site is definitely off. Now, does that mean that this is a bad mustache wax? I don't think that it is. I think that it's just not for somebody like me with a much larger handlebars. I think that if you are just starting out growing your mustache or even just have a simple mustache that, you know, is just straight down, I think that it is definitely 
a product that you would be able to use to just get a little bit nicer of a look. I also think that it'd be fairly decent if you are starting to train your mustache. I find that the lighter waxes are a little bit easier to train with because you're gonna wanna be brushing them throughout the day and really making sure that they are going where you want them to go when you're training. So I think that a lighter mustache wax such as this that you could even apply several times a day is definitely a better option for that. Now do I think that Viking Revolution's mustache wax is worth the money? Well, considering that it comes in at $9 for basically an ounce of wax, I don't think that's too bad, especially for what it is. Do I think that their stronghold claims are a little bit off? Yes, but after reviewing this, I think that it was well worth the $9 to be able to have a decent wax for a more natural hold mustache throughout the month. If Viking Revolution mustache wax is one that you think that you wanna try, make sure to check out the link down below. If this mustache wax isn't one that you think will fit you, then go ahead and check out this playlist up here to find one that very well could. Down below, that's going to be a video that you'll probably enjoy as well. Until next time, as always, you have a good one.